Hello everyone, and welcome to the Gunning Gallade. Look at that. Yesterday was Hattrick Tuesday, today is uh, Super Hattrick Wednesday. But by the time we're watching, it's probably Thursday. So there's some mail that has come in, uh, into my mailbox from The Wasteland Gaming. I ordered this just before um, I kicked up the page again. So um, yeah, I have this... Um, what do I have? Um, I have a binder of the best of Sun and Moon. And the reason is because... Um, Guardians Rising in 2017 just it indicated a little too much for me in the TCG and when I started collecting Pokemon cards again in 2015 I was on this epic mission just because of how great it felt um, to like open up cards again um, I was like I just had to chill <laughs> Um, anyways, so look at that, Rayquaza GX from Celestial Storm, and on the back, um, on the inside, ooh, there is tape here, uh, there's Rayquaza, and there is this Decidueye, uh, pre-release from Darkness of Blazes, the only one I needed, and I was, you know, contemplating on chasing, I'd say that's in decent condition, that's good enough for me, I mean, how many... How many times are you going to get a pre-release box hoping for something else? Eventually, if you just don't get it, I recommend you just buy the individual card. I scored this for a very good price, actually. It was around $15 uh, Canadian. And the Rayquaza was also in around, uh, I believe, $10 for a full art for a Rayquaza. I mean, come on. So I'd recommend you check out The Wasteland Gaming, uh, their company from... Atlanta, Georgia, and they are really cool. So look at that. Add add this to my best of um, Sun and Moon, and I'm gonna add this to my Darkness Explorer. Sorry, Darkness Explorers, Dark Explorers. Um, no, my Darkness Ablaze binder. So moving on. Obviously, um, as you see here, there's Charizard. Are you sick of this guy yet? Are you sick of him? Um, there was a bit of a twist of the tail because this morning when I checked my when I checked my Instagram page yesterday afternoon, just due to the timing of things, uh, there were more people vying for Champions Path, an opening for Champions Path, and I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna do it. So I I did double three, um, but by by time this morning rolled around, there was 51 percent for. Um, hidden fates, so I decided, you know what, why not? So, while I get this bad boy open, um, I'm going to talk about heart palpitations. And today, I was watching, or tonight I was watching, Aaron the Mon, if you're following on Instagram. He's a wonderful lad. Such a kind-hearted, gentle, genuine soul, and I love him so dearly, and even though I just came back this week, it's very unfortunate that he announced that he will be departing. But um, he, he he's one of the greatest uh, collectors of sealed products, I think, in the world. And he was showing what he has, and it's made me think. I usually open it like this. I leave Charizard for last because, duh. And then I have, you know, Shiny Mewtwo, and I go with... The legendary bird, so let's crack a like this. So, anyways, um, Aaron the Mon, that's A R O N the Mon, was just going to town and opening these packs, and I was thinking to myself, it's so unfortunate that he had to, um, he has to leave, but I understand, I understand when someone crosses a certain boundary. Um, he'll be missed, but if you are curious to see some absolutely stunning boxes, sealed boxes. Uh, I recommend you check out his page. And on that note, I mean, if we want to talk about um, cards to invest in or what sets to invest in, if you live in Canada, Weezing is the rare reverse hollow. I'm going to continue on. I just need to see what's here. Mm, Bill's analysis. Bill's just having to read there, big lot. Okay. Um, so, actually, I really liked this card from that pack. Um, I would recommend for all of you who are struggling with 
all the epic, epic um, prices that are out there for these latest sets, um, I'm going to tell you, I would, I would recommend now to start putting away or try to invest in some of the more modern boxes uh, because the reason is uh, because right now it may, it may seem like it's too much or there's like, you know, such an epic demand or or not enough of a demand, but, you know, Darkness, Dark Explorers, ooh, Electrode is a rare reverse hollow, not too bad, and the rare is Mr. Mime, and that's a non hollow. okay. So, the point is, is right now, something may not seem like it's worth a lot, but you give that a few years, and I think it's inevitable, excuse me, Charizard, didn't mean to drop you there, um, I think it's inevitable for these prices to go up. So if you're talking about specific sets that I think it would be cool to put some money into, I mean, you look at stuff like Unbroken Bonds, and that's worth a lot right now, but, I mean, I think if you even had something like... I, I would even go so far to say, like, Guardians Rising, which came out three years ago, but isn't worth a lot right now, might be something worth having in your arsenal. Uh, even from some of the more modern sets. I mean... I don't know about Rebel Clash, but, like, you have these extreme surprises. Okay, Magikarp, Reverse Hollow. I think I saw something underneath here. What is it going to be? It's a Wiggly Tough GX. Wiggly, Wiggly, Wiggly. Not too bad. Um, but even, like, for example, upcoming, you have Vivid Voltage, right? So, I think something like Vivid Voltage, because of the Pikachu VMAX, you got to look at what's in there. And I mean, as, as expensive as it sounds, but if you were to hold on to an Elite Trainer box from uh, from the um, Champion's Path, I think you're going to be laughing in a year from now when that box is worth twice or three much the, the, the amount. So that's just my two cents. Take it or leave it. Whatever's clever. We're here for the cards, right? The opening. Oh my god, it's a Routes! It's a Routes! It's a Routes! Routes is my boy! Routes is my boy! Yo, I got a Routes! A shiny Routes! Yeah! That's so cool. What else is there? Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan's cool too, but yo, I got a shiny Routes! Routes is my boy! I mean, Gardevoir is so cool, and obviously Gunny Glade. I'm always gonna have a crush on, uh, on Gardevoir, but you know. Routes, routes, that's so cool. Anyways, uh, let's do a little recap of all the cool stuff. I actually invested in some Japanese packs recently, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I just want to look at some of the cards I thought were cool from this box or from this tin. So, I mean, it was okay. I got a shiny, I don't mind. Subset, one of the subsets we have Scyther that I liked here. Um, Cubone, I mean, look at that. You're so mad. You got a tear glistening from your eye. You've got the flames behind you. What is the fight that Cubone is fighting? I think that's priceless. Magikarp, because you can't go wrong. Magikarp, as Primetime Pokemon says, the strongest Pokemon in the world. And Electrode, this is another battle. I wonder what the other artwork is. Psyduck, I mean, yo, that's a, an OG right there. Look at Clefairy, what you doing there? What you doing? You gonna blow up Jupiter? And Charmander, I mean, duh, Charmander's the greatest. And this Pikachu, look at his bubbles. I mean, you know everything's going to be alright when you're blowing some bubbles. So, these are the uh, the cooler stuff. Well, I mean, it's all cool, but you know. Wigglytuff GX, Charizard GX from the tin. Something I think could... I think having a sealed tin from, from the Hidden Fates, as expensive as they are right now, I would keep one. And if you can get your hands on a Charizard, do it. It'll be worth hundreds of dollars in probably less than two, three years from now. Mm, you have Decidueye. Not too bad. This is the last one I needed. And Ralts. Yeah, shiny boy. Okay, so um, looking forward to the day I get like some crazy rainbow rare. But in general, I mean, Ralts, shiny boy. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys something. I wanted to get your opinion. So I see this um, this really unique posting or this listing on eBay. 
and I wanted to know what your thoughts are. So it says, read Pokemon Hidden Fates Ultra Premium Collection Shiny Charizard Booster Packs. So there's like this epic collection here of obviously the premium collection, which is just wild. And that's not a glare from my screen, but that's from, from the uh, posting. And there's like all these premium, or not premium, but pre-made surprise packs. And, um, whoops. So, I'm just trying to gauge if this is worth something to get my hands on. I mean, it's like 150 bucks Canadian, which is a thing. Um, and uh, what does the description say? The description says, if I will not be a geezer about it, but the description, yeah, about this item. Brand new unused opening. Oh, there is a description here specifically. Come on, it says, please read. Oh, you can see I'm getting my hands on some Japanese packs. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think about this. If this is something that you'd like to see me open. Obviously, it's like a, a bit of a risk. Oh, item description, there you go. How does this work? Winning numbers have already been determined. And the zoom really sucks um, on this iPad right now. But um, you choose a winning number between 1 and 100. Some packages will contain vintage card lots. Others will have hidden fates prizes. Um, best value and opportunity on eBay. So number one, first edition stamped cards. Three guaranteed. One hidden fates booster pack and one hollow any gen. But more apparently, lots of gems. Multiple chances to win. One in ten chances of winning any of the following. First place, Hidden Fates Ultra Premium Collection plus 12 Hidden Fates Booster Packs. Wild. Second place, Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box and 12 Hidden Fates Booster Packs. Wild. Third place, 36 Hidden Fates Booster Packs and a custom Hidden Fates Booster Box. Wild. There are three opportunities to win. And non-winners, they can get um, first edition cards, which are like lightly played to Near Mint, Team Rocket, um, Jungle Fossil, Base Set, Neo Genesis, more available with first edition stamps, Dragonite, Dark Dragonair, Hollow Machamp, Moltres, Raichu, all first editions available. You know, so it's kind of like a random thing, but it seems like you get something. And if you're paying 150 Canadian, um, good luck, Pokemans. I love that. Interesting. This seems really interesting. So um, if you can throw me a few, you know, suggestions in the comments below on YouTube or Instagram. Let me know what you think, but it could be kind of cool. Anyways, thank you for watching. Until the next time, bye for now.